Hi there. In the 10 minute workshop this week, I'm going to show you how I made a super simple quilt and wall hanging hanging bar for my wife's quilts and tapestries. That's coming up next. Uh, welcome back, I'm Peter Millard and in the 10 minute workshop on this channel I do little bits of uh, client work, woodworky workshop type stuff, uh, some tool reviews, uh, quick tips and a little bit of DIY like this one. Uh, my wife's a big quilter, if you follow me on Instagram uh, or follow her on Instagram uh, you'll see the sort of quality of work that she does and hanging those, displaying those is always a little bit of a headache. You can get those sort of wooden block type things uh, which you can use to display hangings and quilts, but they're, they're not that successful. We've tried a few of those and because they only secure to a wall with a single screw they tend to, the weight of the quilt tends to sort of pull them down slightly. So I thought I'd take a look at a, a, a much easier way of doing this using nothing more sophisticated than little spring clips, bulldog clips like these. And uh, the room that we're going to put most of these in at the moment uh, has high level shelving in there so I can secure these directly to the battens that are supporting those shelves. But on one wall on the chimney breast uh, we still need to put a, a separate piece in, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make a, a special wall hanging batten and I'll take you through that process. I've selected a random piece of softwood batten that I happen to have in the workshop. Honestly, a piece of 1x2 probably would have been better. And I want the clips to be spaced at around 10 inches apart or 250 mil. so I've got a spacer from a piece of scrap plywood. Mark the height of the hole on the clip then drilled through the end of the plywood, simply butting it up against another piece so you effectively get a notch at either end. Back to the batten, I can use an awl in the notch to mark out the screw positions, moving the spacer along and referencing off the awl each time. One niggle I did find with these clips is that my regular screwdrivers won't fit through the hole in the clip to screw the screw down. Uh, my small electrical Phillips driver will just fit, but I've had to strip off some of the insulation around the blade to make life a little easier. Obviously you should only do this if you're absolutely comfortable with any consequences. And with the screwdriver fitting more readily, we can give the batten a quick coat of paint and then screw all the clips into position. On site now and I'm fitting the batten onto the chimney breast at the same height as the battens beneath the shelves. First levelling it up, then marking the positions and drilling into the brickwork. Note the use of a dustpan to catch the worst of the brick dust. Then the holes can be plugged and the batten screwed into its final position. Two fixings is plenty for the kind of weight that this is likely to take, but do add more if you're planning on hanging anything particularly heavy. After that, the quilt can simply be clipped into position. This wasn't the quilt that was planned for this particular wall actually, hence the spacing is a little off. And then I can move on to fitting the clips onto the battens beneath the shelves in the other walls. I'm using the same principles exactly, but without the luxury of working on the flat. First fitting clips to the existing battens supporting the shelves, using my notched piece of plywood as a spacer. I'm starting from one end, then coming back from the other, adjusting them slightly at the centre to suit the hanging. Then the clips can be screwed on, and the quilt hung. The clips grip tightly, 
but the hangings can still slide through, making fine-tuning the final position an easy job. And I think we'll leave it there for this week's video. That's a real simple solution for hanging your wall hangings, tapestries or quilts. A little dab of paint or filler on those two screw holes and that'll complete it, obviously with the uh, quilt not on the wall when you do that, because let's not take chances. Um, it, it's a really simple solution and it's really cheap as well. Uh, these little spring clips only cost three or four pounds for a pack of a dozen from Amazon and there are links down in the video's description to all the bits and pieces that I've used here. A minimal tool set as well maybe a saw to cut the batten to length and a drill to drill a few holes but on all and a screwdriver is pretty much all you need. Uh, it is a, an effective way to hang and to change quilts and tapestries like this because the spring clips don't cause any damage to the to the tapestry to the wall hanging at all and you don't have to hang you don't have to sew little loops in there to hang them off or indeed you don't have to take those off if you do decide to give the quilt away or move it on. Uh, so all things considered, uh, very simple and effective, easy to change the quilts around if you fancy a change as well. So uh, a pretty good solution all round. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share it freely amongst your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly workshop videos. Uh, I wanna say thank you very much indeed to my Patreon supporters, without whose contributions uh, this channel wouldn't be what it is at all. And if you'd like to support the channel through Patreon, then go to patreon.com forward slash 10 minute workshop take a look around and see what i'm doing there I, amongst other things i do a weekly a week in the workshop sort of vlog on a sunday which gives uh, just a little update about how things are going uh, and some behind the scenes bits and pieces and exclusive content for you my lovely patreon supporters so if that sounds like your kind of thing then uh, do go and take a look but that's it for this week thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time take care